So one thing that's really important uh, when you are taking this test is that you really know the difference between using the percent proportions and percent equations. I'm not even going to care if you get the answer right using one of the other methods. If I specifically ask you to find it using percent proportions or percent equations, you need to know what the difference between those two are. So I'm going to quickly do a, a quick example here. So on the left, I have uh, using the percent proportions, and on the right, using the percent equation. So the first question is, what percent of 56 is 8? Using a percent proportion, uh, I use the uh, is over the of equals to the percent over 100. So in this case here, I have what percent. And so immediately, I'm going to put the what is my x is over 100, what percent. Of 56, there's my denominator, the of, and the is 8 goes on the top. And so now I cross multiply and solve for that, and that's using the percent proportion. Doing the very sa same problem, I basically am reading the sentence from left to right again, um, but now I'm going to use the percent equation. When I see the word what percent, immediately I put an x for the word what. Of 56 means of means time, so parentheses 56. Is means equals and 8. So in this particular, using the percent equation, uh, we have Change, always change your percent to a decimal. Always uh, of means times. Is means equals. And the x, or I should say the word what, you're going to put in a variable like x. Okay? So, and then we're, we would solve for this one. Um, and the difference between this one is just having to be careful about moving the decimal. When you change a percent to a decimal, move it two places. When you're solving for a percent, like in this one, I, there was no percent to move two places. So you're going to do that at the very end. I'll div divide both sides by 56. Uh, I'm going to get a decimal, and then I need to move it two places uh, to get the percent then. All right, so the same one here. What is 12.4% of, of 150? I start off with my is and my of. What is, I don't know what is. The of is 150. And then I have my percent over 100. In this case, it's 12.4 over 100. Again, cross multiply and solve. Uh, using the percent equation, what is 12.4%. So that move that, change that to a decimal, which is 0.124. Of means times 150. So I just multiply that, and I'll have x. Uh, doing, oh, I guess it's a second B. Uh, this one, using a um, proportions, uh, 18 is, there's my 18 over, of what, I don't know what that is, equals to my percent over 100, which is 45 over 100. I would cross multiply and solve that for x. Uh, using the percent equation, I write 18 is is equals, 45%, change that to a decimal, of what number, of means times, what number is x, and then I would simply solve for x. So those are setting them up. I haven't actually solved them, but that's how you uh, set them up using, using both a uh, percent proportion on the left and the percent equation on the right.